the flip has happened. Black Thanks for watching Crokinaw Center. This is game number three of five 2019 World Crokinaw Championship doubles playoffs. In this match, we have Justin and Fred Slater sitting in fifth, taking on Reed and Nolan Tracy sitting in first. Both these teams have had essentially mirror opposite starts to this doubles round. Slater's have struggled. Tracy's have thrived, but still a lot of Crokinaw be left to be played here and a lot that can happen. And Nolan Tracy leaving a hanger 20. Fred Slater leaning across, trying to get his team up two. And he does. Reed Tracy to cut the deficit. No. Another hanger 20 attempt for Justin Slater. Well, he misses on it, but fortunately his disc stays on the board. That means Nolan Tracy won't have a chance for a 20. Leave it right there. Slater's now trying to protect the lead, leaving no uh, 20 opportunities for the Tracys. Retrace to go for uh, a ricochet tap up 20 here. Pretty low percentage shot. <laughs> but, he, but he made it. That was impressive. The Slater's were totally okay, leaving like that sort of shot for, for Retrace to go for it, try to score a 20, and he made it beautifully. But, uh, even with that great shot, though, Tracy's still down, facing two black discs, nowhere near the center. And Nolan Tracy's miss there means open board for Fred Slater here. Try to pile onto the 20 count. And this is over top and his disc just stays on the board as it catches the 10 15 line. And Reed Tracy comes underneath that disc and leaves a hanger 20 for Justin Slater who knocks it down. 2 20 lead for the Slaters. Another disc that Tracy's just haven't quite got off the board here. They don't really have too many options. I don't think this disc out in the five is really in the lane for Reed Tracy to try to score a, a ricochet 20. You saw just as it was going in there, it, catch, it caught the peg. It wasn't a straight line into the 20 hole. Perhaps a ricochet 20 for Nolan Tracy here. The team needs it to try to get a point in this round. Gets it. It's a little bit of pressure on Fred Slater here. Leaves it short. Tracy still have to do something special here, though, to come out with some points in this round. Slaters are still in a pretty comfortable spot. Reed Tracy going for ricochet 20. Now, this is the hole. And Justin Slater makes a nice hit and stick to leave four discs on the board that Nolan Tracy would have to somehow remove while scoring at 20. Makes a double, but it is the Slaters capitalizing on some uh, hangar 20 attempts throughout that round who win the first two points. And they do so against the hammer as well. Retrace, he starts off with an open 20 in this round. Justin Slater misses. It's his lips out of the hole. Nice hit and roll from Nolan Tracy. Fred Slater will try to ricochet this back into the wards of the middle and he makes a 20. Open board again for Reed Tracy this time. This time short. And we've seen Justin Slater already make a hanger 20 from this side earlier in this game. And there's two for two on that particular shot. It's Nolan Tracy ties up that 20 count. Advantage still of the Slaters here with the hammer. But Slater's shot lips out. Tough angle for the hanger 20, and Reed Tracy just got the takeout. Tracy could try to hide here, or they might just try to roll in right away. And they went for, went for the 20. It got pretty darn close. I didn't think it was quite there, personally. Fred Slater missing on a chance to collect on that hanger 20. Still a pretty tight round here. Tracy's on the hunt for a 20 somehow. Slater's trying to prevent it. Nice take out there from Justin Slater. That black disc rolls in between the pegs 
leaving really no angle here for Nolan Tracy to try to get a ricochet in towards the middle. So he goes for the assist play, but he hits it too hard. He's trying to push that black disc towards the 20 hole so that Reed Tracy would have a chance to score a 20 off of it. But disc was hit too far, although Reed Tracy will still try, and he does score the 20, so some pressure on Justin Slater. Oh, and he's short. So the Tracys now finally have that 20 edge. But there's three discs on the board. They're going to have to make a couple of double takeouts here to try to win this round. They're looking at a double here of these two that are sitting in the 15. Well, the other idea possibly is leaving that hangar 20 for Reed Tracy on his shot. So Nolan Tracy just hitting the one on the 10. The Slaters will definitely try to wreck it. So they'll definitely try to remove that hangar 20 that's sitting right next to the 20 hole for Reed Tracy. So Fred Slater will be going for a takeout on this one red disc and trying to roll into the middle. Yes, well done from Fred Slater. So similar position now. Tracy's don't really have a 20 opportunity. They'd love to get a double takeout here. Good good effort on that one. Almost got the 20. Moving the discs around. Slater's being a good spot if they can even just get a touch 20 here. No 20, but the takeout is good. Still leaving three black discs. So a double wouldn't be enough here. For Nolan Tracy, you need a, a double and a 20 or a triple takeout to try to secure the round. Now loses the shooter. And there's already 25 points on the board for Black. So inconsequential final shot. And Fred Slater puts it into the 15. The Slaters take the two points. They're up 4-0 now. So a couple of good rounds here for the Slaters. They're playing the Crokinaw they hope to be playing at this stage. And Tracy's will be looking to rebound here to try to maintain their position in first place. It's obviously a uh, losing the first four points is not ideal. And Slater starts off round three, misses long on the open 20. Nolan Tracy just satisfied with getting a touch on that black disc. When retrace, he loses the shooter. Another open board for Justin Slater. This one he makes. Tracy's facing an uphill battle once again. Just haven't been able to have the lead after the first few shots of each round. Fred Slater misses a chance there to pile on to the 20 count, though. Later going for the takeout 20, almost made it. Reed Tracy doesn't seem like he totally loves this angle here. And he went for a 20 there, and unfortunately lost his other red disc on the board. Justin Slater possibly going for a 20 here. Doesn't get it. <laughs> Nolan Tracy's 20 shot just bounces out. Yeah, the Slaters definitely don't need to go for a 20 here, and hitting the one on the 5 should be pretty good. Uh, Justin Slater may have a chance on this red disc in the 15 to try to score a 20 and a takeout, which he'll go for here. No, pops out. Hanger 20 chance. Nolan Tracy, he knocks it down. So Tracy's back in this round here. They were looking like they uh, were in a really tough spot, but all of a sudden... Since they do have the hammer here, they possibly may have a chance to win this round. They're again facing three black discs, but at least they're not all concentrated in the 15 circle. Nice little high there from Reed Tracy, just trying to nestle that red disc behind a peg, and he gets an error from Justin Slater. 
Nolan Tracy makes a double and things have really turned around on just a couple of shots for the Tracys here. Nice double shot from, from Fred Slater, but not enough. Reed Tracy just takes out the final black disc and the Tracys just unexpectedly there turn around that round and score the two points. That's crucial for them getting on the board here in this third game. And now one final round to go. Final chance to earn some points here. Nolan Tracy starting off well with an open 20. Frank Slater misses long. Ray Tracy's had that exact same hangar 20 spot a couple of times in this game. All like pretty tough to make. Just hasn't been able to score it here in this game. Nice take out 20 from Justin Slater and a nice response from Nolan Tracy. Again, putting pressure on Fred here. This time he answers with a 20. And Ray Tracy loses the shooter through the house. Justin Slater leaves a hanger though. Nolan Tracy knocks it down. Again, pressure to Fred Slater. This is long on a 20. Disc is in a nice spot though, next to a peg. Real tough for a takeout here. You can tell just by the angle that Marie Tracy is deliberating here. Does not like it. Gets a touch and roll to the outside. Justin Slater pushes that one in the 15, so the game is effectively tied at the moment. Slaters are content on having two discs on the board. You can see now that they're up to 25 points there, a 15 and a 10. So it's the Tracys that have to uh, push the envelope a little. I think Reed Tracy wanted to nestle that disc in a different spot because he's left an angle here for Justin Slater to roll into the 15 and he went for a 20 there. Possible chance, Nolan Tracy for the 20 on the response. Nice shot. Big shot from Nolan Tracy there. What a great response though from Fred Slater. Oh, and Reed Tracy losing the shooter. Open board, Justin Slater. Critical shot, and he makes it. That was really the turning point. If he had missed that shot, Nolan Tracy probably would have had a chance for a double takeout, but he makes that shot. And the hammer advantage for the Slaters is now clearly evident. Marie Tracy, one final chance here. Take out 20. Rolls it in the middle and gets a nice nice spot in front of a peg here. So this would be a tough final takeout for Justin Slater to try to win this round. Oh, beautifully struck from Justin Slater. Makes that final takeout and made this nice 20 earlier on in this round. And the Slaters win this game 6-2. to two.